Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. A plus B equals eight. This is our equation one. Then we have A B equals eight. This is our equation two. And mind you, AB means A times B, right? Now, to solve this, we will have to deal with them simultaneously because we have two unknowns in one equation. So we'll have to solve both of them simultaneously. From equation 1, B will be equal to 8 minus A. And this is now our equation 3. Now, what again can I do? If I continue from here, then we, okay, this is what we're going to do. Put this equation 3 into equation 2, where we have a, b equals 8. So we have a already, and b is now 8 minus a. Then we have this equal to 8. Now what again can I do? Open the bracket. Meaning that you have um, 8a minus a squared equals 8. Because a is to multiply everything in the bracket. Mind you, what I have on the left, I can write as a squared plus 8a and this is still equal to 8 right now we are not expected to have negative um, coefficients so we multiply everything by negative 1 so it will give us positive a squared then this turns to negative 8a and then here we have negative 8 but mind you we, we are going to bring this to the left so we have a squared minus 8a plus 8 equals 0. And now what again can I do? Remember that we now have a quadratic equation. And we are expected to solve this problem. Okay. In the quadratic equation, we are going to use the formula to deal with this. We are going to use formula to deal with this. And the formula is... Um, Okay, now that we have A here, I'm going to change this because we'll, we'll be having A in the formula. So let's have X squared minus 8X plus 8 equals 0. But mind you, whatever I get for X is for A. So our X will be equal to minus B plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2 multiplied by a okay so x is now our a is 1 our b is um our b is um minus 8 and our c is 8 so let's substitute into the formula we have negative negative 8 we close this plus or minus square root of b squared will be negative 8 squared then minus 4 times a times c right because a is 1 and c is 8 so we divide this by 2 times 1 now our x will be 8 plus or minus 16 minus 8 squared is um, 64, right? Then minus 4 times 1 times 8 is 32. So we divide this by 2. This means that our x is equal to 8 plus or minus 32 minus 64 minus 32 is 32. So we have this over 2. But mind you that we can um, simplify this um, root 32. So x is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 8 
Okay, 32 is 16 times 2. Because 16 is a perfect square, then we divide this by 2. Meaning that x is now 8 plus or minus 4 root 2. Okay, square root of 32 is the same thing as 4 root 2. Then we divide by 2. Let's continue with this. And um, I'll write on this side. So our x will now be equal to, um, mind you, 2 can go here. So we have 4. And the same 2 will go here. We have plus or minus. We have 2. Then we have root 2. Okay, so from here, we can no longer divide because the 2 here is gone. Okay, so this means that, um, okay, by the way, this value of x is for a, so our a now is 4 plus or minus 2 root 2, meaning that a is equal to 4 plus 2 root 2 or 4 minus 2 root 2. But from here, we are expected to get um, the corresponding values of b. So let's go there. Okay, so our b now will be 8 minus, open bracket, in place of a, arrive 4 plus 2 root 2, so that b will be equal to 8 minus 4 minus 2 root 2. And our b will be equal to 4 minus 2 root 2. So this is to say that um, when a is equal to 4 plus 2 root 2, b is equal to 4 minus 2 root 2. Now, we will still continue because b is still 8 minus a, and we have another value of a. So b now will be 8 minus, open brackets, this time around, I'm picking this value of a, okay? So we have... Um, 4 minus 2 root 2 so that b is equal to 8 minus 4 plus 2 root 2 and then b will be equal to 8 okay 8 minus 4 that is 4 then we have plus 2 root 2 mind you i cannot add this 4 and 2 because this belongs to the root 2 right so what are we saying? We are saying that when a equals 4 minus 2 root 2, b equals 4 plus 2 root 2. Thank you for watching. And um, if you love this, subscribe to my channel for more of this.